All right, let's solve this one. You know what? You guys solve it. See how you do, okay? One minute. So, same thing on this one. Uh, I'm going to split this up into two separate equations, but without the absolute value, right? Because I can say, well, 4x plus 2, if I could make it b6, that would give us a true statement. But if I could make, if I get 4x plus 2 to equal negative 6, that also would be a true statement. And again, the 6s we're seeing here are not yet the 6. These 6s would be on the inside of the absolute value first. So, uh, but now I am ready to solve these. So, yeah, just like I was saying, some students like to do it like this. It's like, well, I, I know I'm going to have to subtract 2 from both sides here, but also subtract 2 from both sides here. If you want to do them simultaneously, you can. And if that's convenient for you, do it, okay? But now I'd have a 4x here on the left equals 6 minus 2 is 4. And on the right, not my 4x. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. Well, that's going to be convenient. Because now when I divide both sides of both equations by 4, I get x equals 1 and also x equals negative 2. Okay, so if we go back, if I were to replace x with 1, I'd get a true statement. We can check that. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. That's positive. How far away is 6 from 0? 6, so that's true. How about negative 2? Would this work? Let's find out. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Then adding 2 would make that negative 6. How far away is negative 6 from 0? It's 6, so that checks off as well. And looks like we found two good answers for this one. The 2 and 1 switch. Oh, that's fine. Because you did that for the 7 and 1. Yeah. Yeah, you can if you want. Uh, any other questions here on this one? 7 and 1.